What's good, YouTube? I'm back again with another video. I appreciate the love and the subscribers. It means a lot to me. To the new viewers that's coming on to my page, don't forget to hit that like, uh, share, and subscribe button. It'll help the channel grow. I appreciate it. Much love. But yeah, man, I'm about to jump straight into the topic, man. Uh, hold on. Actually, before I jump into the topic, I appreciate all the birthday wishes, man. I appreciate y'all, man. Much love, for real. Uh... I had a good I had a good time on my birthday and uh I ain't been recording no videos cuz I've been so busy you know with my birthday weekend or whatever and uh and I ran my phone over with my truck on some you know drinking too much not saying I was drunk but not paying no attention and I done ran it over and crushed them all, crushed it so but yeah man appreciate the birthday wishes man I highly appreciate it thank you so much uh, means a lot to me, and a uh, brother of my uh, that wished me a happy birthday, he gave me an idea because I'm I'm in the process of creating merch, and you know I appreciate it if y'all you know y'all bought it. I just haven't had the time to you know get it all together, but I'm actually that might be my new catch thing, man. Much love for real, because that's all I be saying in my video because I really mean that shit. But yeah, man, from the title of the video, uh. If another another man won't, another man will. And that goes back to my other videos, man. Uh, how you want somebody to pay your bills and you're not his wife? Paying thousands of dollars out of his pocket when he got his own bills to pay. And what's got me on this topic is because women won't do that for a man. Women ain't going to just come out of pocket when they first meet and be like, hey, I'm going to pay for your dinner, your car, your, your uh, I mean, not your car. I'm going to pay for the dinner, the gas, and uh, I'm going to pay for us to go to a hotel. Women ain't doing that. Women ain't doing stuff like that. So uh, at the end of the day, that goes back to the videos I made. It ain't worth being a good man to some of these women. Some of these women don't deserve a good man. They get what they get. And they got the nerve to complain they can't find one. Another man will, won't. Another man will. Another man's trash is another man's treasure. I, I think all of that is some BS. I think it's all BS. I think that soulmate stuff is BS. Because at the end of the day, if a person is going to stick around and love you for all through thick and thin and, you know, stick to their vows if y'all get married or whatever. You know, people are human at the end of the day, so you don't know what a person is thinking. Like, women think all men cheat. But when we try to stay committed, we go through getting cussed out, disrespected, paying all the bills, putting up with the family, putting up with your attitude, putting up with your trauma. What do we get? Some ass, some booty, that's it. Not a nice dinner, not a haircut, not a pedicure, not a motherfucking Call of Duty, Some Men burnt out. And like I said, I don't come on here to bash women. I don't come on here to disrespect women. I come on here to speak real life truth. And at the end of the day, I've been saying in my videos, if y'all got suggestions, women, Drop them in the comments. If you want to schedule a day to go live and we all can talk about it, we can. But at the end of the day, you know, I'm just speaking the truth. Another man won't, what another man won't do, another man will. Yeah, y'all got, y'all woman. Of course, y'all can use y'all body to manipulate some of these suckers. Some of these dudes might be willing to pay and some of these dudes like me won't. I'm not paying no female bill I just met. Especially when I have I don't even know you like that. Especially when we ain't been friends or, you know, talk to each other or, you know, why would I do something like that? Why would men do something like that unless they really thirsty? I mean, a motherfucker got to be really thirsty, low down, the you know, just desperate. At this point, you might as well pay for it. But I'm just trying to make a point. That's the mentality I be talking about. Like, women know what they can do. Women have leverage over a man that a man don't have. The leverage we have 
is walking away, meet discipline, uh, and not letting that stuff control you. Can't let the candy control you, fellas. You know, it's other ways to get it. You're paying a thousand, fifteen hundred dollar bills, it's off the chain. Especially especially if you're an average mojo. Them rappers, they got money for days. Not even hating on them. They got money for days to spend on a female if they want to. It's like a it's like a dime out of their pocket. But when you low down on some BS, of course you're gonna find a sucker to pay that stuff. If you ever notice when they say men to pay their bills, it'd be dudes like old as hell. Ain't got nothing to do with their money. Or you got dudes that's desperate, lonely, and will pay their bills. And then you got women that will get their bills paid and will never get to do none and go on to the next. That's why I say, fellas, you don't never let a female mess your money up. That's why I say it ain't worth being a good man. It ain't worth being good to some of these women. Some of these women are low down, dirty females, man. And all they all some of these women are only out to get what they can get out of a man. I'm not saying that it ain't good women left out here, but it's a slim chance that you're gonna come across a female without coughing up anything. You gotta cough up something. It ain't like I got what you need, I got what I need, that's going this day. Let's chill, let's get to know each other. It's more like what you got for me? I got to give you all my hard work and money because you pretty and got a nice little pretty butt. And man, that's that you you could move you could move like that with some of these young dudes. That's why I try to tell young men, you know, don't don't let that uh, lust get to you. Of course, y'all can go out here and manipulate men. That's what y'all that's what y'all uh, that's what y'all body's there for. But it's just some men that's stupid enough to fall for it. It's some men that's dumb enough to fall for it. And at the end of the day, it's not wrong to take care of your wife. You know, a woman that deserves it. But just to be out here just paying females bills, just to hit it for five minutes or for her just to get up and walk away. Come on, man. Don't be out here being stupid like that. I mean, if you want to, you can. If you want to spend it like that, you got it like that. You know, but ain't no average mojo paying no thousand dollars a month. Unless you in the streets and you got it like that. But that shit going to get old to a female because at the end of the day, she wants somebody to be with. She wants somebody that's going to continuously help her out and house me and somebody to listen to. Somebody that's going to listen to all her BS. Even when they don't want to hear it. But like I said, nowadays, you got to cough up something. I'm not saying a date. I'm not saying, you know, movies or whatever. I'm saying you gotta cough up big bucks. You ain't if you ain't coughing up big bucks, it's pointless to talk to some of these women. Fellas, if a uh, if money come up as a conversation, you need to cut her off. Cause at the end of the day, she just started the conversation off about how much you make, where you work. That ain't none of your business. It's not wrong for having standards, but it's it's also something wrong for trying to figure out what a person have and what they got so it could benefit you. Now, if the man bring it up in the conversation, that's different. But what another person won't do, another person will. Like, what type of mentality is that? You ever notice people that break up out of a 20-year relationship and jump into another one and then jump into another one and then jump into another one and jump into another one? They think the grass is greener on the other side, and usually it's not. Usually it's some BS behind that. And I'm not saying that it ain't possible to find somebody that quick, but it, I'm telling you, if you ain't heal from the BS that you just came from, you're going to take that person through heal. And some person, some people might not even put up with that. You got like you got men like me that would not pay another woman's bill for nothing. I'm not doing that. You got to be my wife to, for me to take care of you. You got to be my fiance. You are not about to get a dollar out of me. Because you got a nice ass, it's a it's a it's a female somewhere that's gonna give it to me for I'm for for going to you know taking her out or having a conversation. Same way y'all feel like y'all can find y'all somebody that quick, so can a man if he get his stuff together. I'm not saying we could go out here and pick and choose what we want because men don't have that type of you know leverage like a woman do. Y'all have control of the bedroom, y'all have the power of the sex. But at the end of the day, you know if a man pays himself and have meat discipline and really you know, uh, 
leverage what he got, he can go out here and find that for free. But a lot of men ain't going to understand that because there's men out here that ain't getting none and it's paying for it. You know, ain't nothing wrong with it. You know, more power to you. You know, if they see charging you less than $1,000, I guess. You know, I know you pay for it anyway when you when you got a wife, bills, what she want. But that's different. That's your wife. That's a person that's supposed to commit to you forever and be with you forever. With an average mojo that ain't your wife, that ain't your mistress, none of that, man. No. These women got the game twisted, man. They don't want the flowers. They don't want the, you know, oh, you know, the perfume and the gift bags. They want a, they want a million dollars. Like, God, I ain't even getting that. Men ain't even walking up to women getting a bag from a, from a female. Like, come on, man. Men are so simple. We don't want too much. We just want love, submissive, simp- uh, and uh, loyalty, and a little bit of love. What is so hard about that? You hear Glorilla all the time talking about it. One minute she's like, I want a man. The next minute she want four dudes. The next minute she want a man. And then it's like, these women be more confused. They don't be knowing what they want because a lot of these dudes don't be having nothing going on. And they go off. The, they go after trash dudes. And they want to blame the good dude for not being a good dude because he burnt out. Like. And like I said, you got the mentality of a person saying another man won't, another man will. Like, come on, man. I know you. I know your shit got to be dried up down there. God damn it. You know you're tired. You know you're tired of giving that shit out for some paper. You know, unless you stripping. You know, I give you trying to get to the top, you know, but golly. That's why you can't find no dude. Too busy taking, 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 and wanting. And like I said, I love a woman. I love women. But women just got the game twisted nowadays, bro. I wish a person would tell me that. I wish my, you know, I wish my woman would tell me that. Oh, another, what another man won't do, another man will. Okay, that's fine. But you'll be back after you get burnt out on that shit. You'll turn back around. I was watching a video another uh, other day, and... These couples was having a deb- uh, debate or whatever, and they were saying, like, all men cheat, and the urges come and go. But what they ain't understanding, uh, as a man, a man will choose to commit to you and put up with all your stuff. And some men would turn around and get cheated on. Like, how is that fair to him? Put up with all this shit to get cheated on. Because some didn't go your way. You're not getting enough attention. You didn't speak up. You didn't communicate. Or you choose to disrespect them. Run them through the ground. And then there's some women as wives that don't even appreciate their marriage and appreciate what they got going on because they too busy listening to their single girlfriends. Like I said, a bird, the birds of a feather flock together. Their motherfuckers will follow each other like motherfucking magnets connected together. You know how you put the magnet on the other side of the table and you put it under and it, and it moves and it still stay connected? That's exactly how some of these women are. When they when the other one moves, they move just like that, bro. Just like that. And then at the end of the day, they wonder why they buy themselves. It ain't always about money. Money is a plus. Yes, you should have money in a relationship so y'all can enjoy life and take care of each other. Ain't nobody saying y'all got to be rich. But at the end of the day, you telling me what another man won't do, another man will do. But if we say that, it's a big problem. Or if we go out and be like, okay, that's how you feel. And then we start, you know, having side chicks and all these females and, you know, doing what we doing. And they ain't even asking for nothing, but just a, a conversation. Then we the bad guys. All I'm saying is y'all need to quit with that stupid mentality. Just All I'm saying, that mentality would get you left, lonely, or cheated on. You don't never come at no man like that that's paying all the bills. Especially when you ain't doing nothing. A lot of these women ain't got nothing to bring to the table. It's good men out here. It's good men that work hard. And it's good men that want to be loved and be with somebody. Nowadays, you know, people want to be with somebody. But people make it hard. These women make it make shit hard. And like I said in my last video, uh, laws of attraction. If you are acting like a hoe, you're going to attract shit ass dudes. That's just what's going to happen. You're going to attract shit-ass dudes, bro. And at the end of the day, like I said, you are who you attract. And like I said, don't forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. I appreciate it. Much love. 
And at the end of the day, I'm thinking about making some merch like that. Might put that on a shirt. You know, I got one uh, hoodie made. I just uh, been busy with, you know, life or whatever. Nothing bad. But just trying to, you know, get everything together slowly. But surely, I'm trying to get it together. But yeah, man, you know, some simple little video I had to make. Like I said, I appreciate the love. I appreciate the birthday wishes. And at the end of the day, man, much love from the bottom of my heart. For real, man. And like I said... I try to come on here, be myself, and, you know, try to share life experiences. But, yeah, man, back to what I was saying. That mentality is going to get y'all left. And I swear, bro, women is the only people that make their head the size of a melon and then get it popped by another person when they prove it wrong. Women get jealous of each other when they see another woman in a good relationship or a marriage. Like, it just won't stop. And that goes back to the mentality shit I was saying, like, what another man want, another man will. Now, if you're a good woman, you got done wrong, of course, whatever, I get it. It's somebody that will love you. And, and another thing what a woman got to understand is somebody will want your man. Somebody wants your man, whether you see it right now, whether you see it later, whether you don't ever see it, whether you, he, he look busted, you pissed off. You cheat on him. Somebody going to want your man. Somebody wants somebody. And until y'all realize that, y'all going to forever walk around with y'all head swelled up. Somebody going to want to do. Until y'all lower y'all ego, lower y'all pride, y'all going to forever be by yourself, getting ran through by different men, and talking about how dudes ain't shit. Black men ain't this. All men ain't this. All men cheat. But you ain't worried about bettering yourself. Why won't you try to better yourself as a woman? Why won't you try to better yourself as a person? But you won't. You won't. You want to listen to the social media. You want to listen to the next trend. You want to listen to all these female rappers that's bribing you in when they just trying to make their money. Why won't you be the real female to cut it out and change something? Start a trend. No. Everybody want to be like everybody else. And if y'all hear any weird noise, I'm at work. I just had to make this video for y'all. and show my appreciation or whatever. You see, I had to go get me a little little ink or whatever for my birthday or whatever. Uh, is it on this one? Let me see. I can show y'all. And I got MWA or whatever. I don't know. That's usually what I like to do. Go get inky when I can been working out i've been busy man but i'll try to get to y'all when i can you know I, like i said man i appreciate the love but yeah man that's my intake on that man women need to just get out they feelings quit listening to other people and like i said all men ain't bashing women same way that uh they blamed all the men for voting for kamala harris and you had as much power as vote the vote is uh the next dude could at the end of the day what i gotta do with you being a good woman and, you know, wanting to change your morals. And, and a lot of these women be getting proposed to and throw the whole, like, y'all be having a fiancé and throw it all away because y'all want y'all cake and eat it too. Y'all can't have both. So sometimes y'all got to blame yourself instead of pointing at the men. It ain't always the men. Yeah, it could be the men too, but it's sometimes it's y'all too. It takes two. Women and men need each other. Nobody wants to be by themselves. Some people choose to be by themselves because they don't want to put up with the bullshit. But yeah, man, I kept this video simple today. Like I said, appreciate the birthday wishes again. Much love to y'all. And like I said, a lot of people just need to uh, understand that that mentality ain't going to get you far. It's going to get you right in the goddamn hole. Lonely and by yourself. You don't ever hear men say what another woman won't do, another woman will. And that's true. And it's true on both ends. But it ain't going to go far because it ain't too many people doing that. It ain't too many people, uh, women getting their bills paid. It ain't too many men, you know, getting a woman to do what they want. Because at the end of the day, some of these women are just stuck up and fool themselves. Same way with men. But as long as that keep going on, y'all going to always run into BS. Like I said, people think the grass is greener on the other side and it's not. It's messed up out here, and then it's around the season where it's cold and it's about to snow Christmas and, no, you know, Thanksgiving coming up. Uh, 
you need some, you need a cuddle buddy, man. Y'all better, better stop, man. But they gonna find them a cuddle buddy, and they gonna throw that motherfucker out as soon as they get warm. They back on that hot girl shit. But I'm just talking shit and rambling on, man. But like I said, man, I appreciate y'all. Don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe uh, button. I'm out. Peace.